HTML tables are a common way to display data on a website. While showing a list of ingredients isn't necessarily the most critical thing, imagine if this was something like health data or something that scientists actually needed to work properly. And not only do we want to make sure that this data is displaying appropriately, we want to make sure that when we're using the sorting features that it's also working as expected. Now, if we're doing this with traditional code-based tests, we need to make sure that we're verifying that the integrity of our data isn't compromised. So that could mean making sure we're going through each row and column to make sure that each cell has exactly the value that it needs. But also after that sorting action that all of the data is still working as expected. Now this is a lot to maintain, especially when our data could be constantly changing. I don't wanna actually have to maintain fixtures of all of that table data. So instead, we're gonna use visual testing so that when we first load this page, we can make sure that our table looks exactly right. And even after we sort it, that we're still showing the data exactly how we expect it. Particularly, we're going to use Apple tools and with the eyes SDK for Playwright, we can easily add visual tests to our existing test with a simple NPM package. So to start, I can use NPM to install Apple tools as a dependency. And once it's done, I'm gonna head over to my code editor where I can start to import my dependencies, including eyes and the target, which we'll use in the test. To start, I don't actually need to run all of this code to check my data before. Instead, I'm going to create a new constant called eyes, which I'm going to set as a new instance of the eyes SDK. Then I wanna open up my eyes similar to like we would a camera lens or even our own personal eyes, where I'm gonna first run await eyes.open, where first I wanna pass in the page argument so that we can make sure that we're running it with Playwright. So I'll pass in page as my first argument, and then we can set an app name, which in my instance, I'm gonna call it table to match the rest of this test. And then I'm going to set a test name where in this instance, let's call it ascending since we wanna make sure that our table is sorting ascending. So now is where our actual test comes in, where we wanna run our visual test by using the check API. So we're gonna say await eyes.check, where for the first argument, we can set a tag. So I'm gonna say before sort we also want to tell eyes the part of the page that we want to actually test and in particular the target that we want to test so i'm going to pass in target where i'm going to first call the method of window saying that i want to check the window of the current viewport and i'm going to also pass in fully to make sure it captures the entire thing now the great thing is we don't actually have to change anything with our actual interaction we want it to still try to sort the columns so we don't need to add anything else for our click but just like the before data, we don't want to have to actually run this code base validation. So we're going to add another check with eyes just like before. And let's call this after sort where finally, when we're done with our camera, we want to make sure that our lens is actually closed. So finally, we'll run await eyes.close. Now, before we actually run this test, we want to make sure that we're associating this test with our Apple tools account. So we want to export our API key as an environment variable. So we're going to run the command export applet tools API key, and we're going to set that equal to our API key that we can find right inside our applet tools dashboard. But then just like our other playwright tests, we can run NPM test where we can see that playwright is going to start up and even open up the browser where once the test is actually complete, we can head over to the applet tools dashboard where we can find our test where we can see not only that we have our before sort, but we can also navigate over and see what happens after we sort it. That way we can make sure that when our data is sorted, all the other associated columns are lined up appropriately. So in review, if we wanna make sure that all of our table data is working and sorting just as we expect it to, we don't wanna to have to manually test every single cell. So we can use the Apple tools eyes SDK for Playwright, where we can make sure that with our eyes, we can both check that it's working before the sort and after the sort so that we can be confident that we're displaying our data exactly right.